Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Belen. How are you today? Very well, teacher. Thank you. How and was you? your day at work? Oh, it could be better, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's important. That is okay. And you, how was your day? Mm, a little busy, but I'm okay too. <laughs> Hoping that but tomorrow's gonna be better. It's, it's uh, when you have a lot of things to do. It's like the day passed very faster. Yes, it was faster than usual. Yes, yeah, that's something Peter, good. Mm -hmm. I want to say, uh, uh, today I just uh, connecting by an hour because I have. Uh, some some things to do, some some stuffs to do. How do you say? Algunas cosas. Yeah, you some you can say like that. Some things to do. Okay, there's some things to do in my home, so I only connect for an hour. Okay, so you will be just connected for an hour. Yes. Okay. Thank you for letting us know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, how are you doing, the rest of you, Andrea? How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My day was a um, very stressful day. Wow. Uh, uh, the work is the work was uh, very hard. Y now, what do you estresante. do? Uh huh. So, oh, but what do you do? You work in an office. In a in una distribuidora de licores. Ah, okay. And what do you do there? In Santa Elena. Uh huh. What What do you do? Are you a sales person? Yes, sales um. department. Ah, okay. That is the, the clients are very hard. 
Uh, yeah, sometimes <laughs> people is really complicated and you have metrics, right? Teacher. Mm -hmm. And she wants to say hello to everybody. Oh, nice. You got a cat. <laughs> What's her, her name? Manchi. Manchi. Sí. <laughs> and how old is she? Uh, the next month, uh, she will be two years. Oh, two years. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you like cats? Oh, Only yes. cats? Ah, I like all the animals, but cats was my favorite animals. And cats are your favorite. Yes. Okay, nice. I have a rabbit. <gasps> a rabbit! Oh my god! Uh, They're yeah. so gorgeous. Yes, he is it's, it's very nice. It's so it's so quiet. But um he likes to bite cords. Le gusta morder cable, so that's why uh, he keeps on the yard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they usually do it. <laughs> yes, but I like uh, um you can release stress just by touching them. So it's just a good thing to have pets. Yeah, exactly. They uh, they have something that um translate the energies the negative energies to positive energies and the dogs it uh, makes you feel like happiness uh, every every uh, every animal has different uh, reaction in our mm -hmm. soul oh nice to know that okay uh so uh, yesterday we were working on an exercise related to to part verbs, and we will continue from there. I have just seven people here, so I'm going to check attendance in probably five minutes or or so. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to continue with the program in honor to the people who is early. So this is a listening exercise that we got pending from yesterday's presentation. So we're going to listen. Let me share audio. Okay. So it says listen the results of a survey about family life. Answer each question with M for women and W for boys, B for for girls, I guess. Okay. B is for boys or G for girls. Okay, so we got these four options. And we have the questions. Who is the messiest person in the house? Who does most of the work in the kitchen? Who usually takes out the garbage? And who worries most about expenses? Is there any new word, vocabulary question or about pronunciation? Is the vocabulary clear? Is the vocabulary clear? I don't remember messiest. Uh -huh. Yesterday we saw like the noun mess. Mess, do you remember mess? Desordenado. Desorden, uh-huh, <laughs> it has to do, uh -huh. yes, it's desorden. Entonces, ahí sería ya yeah, the messiest, la persona más desordenada. Who is the messiest person in the house? Any other question? No more questions? Okay, we're going to start the listening. Remember that we are going to answer these four questions just by putting an M for men, uh, W for women, B for boys, or G for girls. You can do it in your notebook. There's no problem. The idea is to practice our listening skills 
or develop them. So let's listen to the interview or survey. This is a survey, it's an encuesta. Okay. Page 38, exercise six, listening, family life. Part A, listen to the results of a survey about family life. Answer each question with men, women, boys, or girls. Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house? The answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV. Well, everything, really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true, don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Did you get all the answers? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's check then. What is uh, the answer for the first question? Who is the messiest person in the house? And Boys. Boys. That is correct, boys. Now, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Woman. That is correct. And who usually takes out the garbage? Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Uh, boys and men. men. I, I hear boys that men. Maybe we're confused with the groceries, but because the the in the survey says that the two of us uh, taking out the groceries. Yeah, probably that's the, the confusion there. But yes, the answer was boys and men. Now the last one: who worries most about expenses? Women. Women. And that is correct. Teacher, and a uh, uh, that audio it's uh, sharing in the material we can hear it no and no because well it is um it is something different i'm doing in order to help you with the other skills because the material that you have in the platform from the one that is from insa Ford, it doesn't include any audio. There are just some links that you can uh, visit. Some of them are still available, but even those links, we cannot share those links in our um, video classes because we may get in trouble if we do. This, okay. is, um, uh, this is material from the interchange books. And um, I have the program here in my computer and, and yes, there is no way that I can download these audios. Um, the only thing I could do probably is to um, record them in a WhatsApp audio. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, 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 no problem, teacher. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Just an an observation that a survey is so progressive. <laughs> Mm, yes, and also I think it is because it's based on American culture. Maybe. Yes, they <laughs> they usually men take the garbage out, but here in our culture, we do everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, we do everything. Yes, so that's why. <laughs> And uh, but it's good to know about their their culture and feel uh, sometimes we we might feel like jealous, Andy. <laughs> okay, now let us listen again. According to the survey, what a specific chores men do? Women, boys, and girls usually do. We may take note. Do you know the word chores? What it refers to? <laughs> Tareas. Ajá. Como yes. deberes de la deberes casa. Deberes de la casa. Ajá. Oficio. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's exactly the, the, the equivalent word uh, or meaning in our language. So we're going to listen again and you may take notes about what a specific short men, women, boys and girls usually do. Let's listen. Page 38, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen again. According to the survey, what specific chores do men, women, boys, and girls usually do? Take notes. Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy? where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house, the answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, my mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV. Well, everything, really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true. Don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Are you okay with the answer or would you like to listen again? I think it's okay, teacher, but I don't know. Okay, thank you, Belen. Yo no entendí. Uh, didn't understand. And okay, I'm going to play it again and I'm going to mute me. <laughs> I hear some else working there. Thank you. Okay. Page 38, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen again. According to the survey, what specific chores do men, women, boys, and girls usually do? Take notes.
Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house? The answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV. Well, everything, really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true, don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Let's check what you get. Uh, let's see. What did you get? What are your um, answers? What did you get? What charts the men, women, boys, and girls do? Any volunteer? According to the survey, or when the woman says about uh, the last question? About the survey. Mm -hmm. The boys and girls doesn't, um, doesn't do too much, according to the survey, because they don't want to do anything. And for the women's, according to the survey, uh, that um, clean up and uh, take, uh, take care, how, I don't know, it's take care about the kitchen. No, only care about the kitchen. I don't know how to say, take care or only take or only care. <laughs> take care. Take care about the kitchen. Okay. Thank you so much, Belen. Anybody else? Uh, teacher, I don't know uh, where can I see the question. Um, this is the part B. Estamos haciendo la parte B del ejercicio. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show all the answers. According <clears throat> to this, men take out the garbage. Women cook, do dishes, clean up, and boys take out the garbage, put the grocers away, girls cook, do the dishes, clean up, and oh. put the groceries away. Teacher, I, I have a question. In the conversation, the girl says, like my dear in the mature family, something like that. I don't know, it's la palabra madura o, ma, o como parte de personalidad, o quizás yo no entendí bien lo que estaba pronunciando. Pero fue casi al final, en la última pregunta. En the most modern homes, algo así. Uh, let's listen again, because I, I didn't really get that one. Let's see. Pero ya es casi Page al final. 38, exercise 6. Boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? 
Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems it's that women said. worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, my mother always wow. never... The majority. Exactly. Uh -huh. I don't understand what's the meaning of that word. Is it this ma major? Majority. It's like a mayoría. It's ah, mayoría. Majority. Okay, okay. I understand. Uh huh. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let's see. Uh, so I think that we can uh, check attendance. Yeah, veo que está la mayoría. So let me stop sharing. And please, uh, if you can um, turn on your cameras and say present. Sé que algunos están manejando todavía. No se preocupen. Queremos que lleguen seguros. Eh, nada más con los que pueda. ¿verdad? Si no, no worries. All right, uh, Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you, Belen. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you so much. Francisco Nehemias. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Eh, Maricela del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Moises Alberto. Present teacher. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. Judy Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Mercedes. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Susana. Okay, so that's for the attendance. So let us continue here. Let's see. This is yesterday's presentation and I only add a couple of things. And now, request with models would you mind? So in regards of this, we know that we can use the model plus the simple form of the verb, and meaning that we are not going to modify. Siempre que estemos haciendo un request, request es cuando estamos pidiendo algo, eh, cuando pidamos ya sea un favor o alguna indicación o que hagan algo por nosotros de manera formal o cordial usamos modals. Eh, modals que podemos usar son can, could y would. Luego del modal tenemos que escribir el sujeto y luego el verbo en su forma simple, infinito. O sea, no le vamos a modificar, no le vamos a poner en pasado ni agregarle eh, algún tipo de complemento para terceras personas. No, el verbo va a ir en su simple, en su forma simple. Tenemos algunos ejemplos ahí y eh, si vamos a pedir un favor utilizando would you mind, 
Ok, si sí, vamos a pedir algo usando would you mind, el verbo va a ir con gerundio agregado. Quiere decir que vamos a ponerle ing al verbo que estemos utilizando. Hey, y es like... Um, Let me share that. Oh, it's a trouble, no puede ser. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. I want to share audio. So, um, request with models and would you mind? So we're in the part of the would you mind? It means that you're going to use would you mind plus the verb plus gerund. El gerund es la forma del ing. Eh, no siempre significa que es una acción en progreso o en continuo. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí estaríamos pidiendo, y, y el would you mind es como decir, te importaría. Te importaría hacer tal cosa, en este caso te importaría um, bajarle el volumen a la música. Eh, no sería como decir, te importaría bajándole el volumen, no, so... Eso se llaman gerunds y tienen diferentes funciones. Eh, el formal con ing, por ejemplo, a veces pueden iniciar. Si un verbo inicia una oración, este verbo tiene que llevar el ing. Eh, vamos a escribir un ejemplo en el chat para no salirme de aquí. Okay, so for example, this one, smoking is bad for your health. Estamos iniciando la oración con el verbo fumar. Okay, eh, la oración dice fumar es malo para tu salud. So whenever you start a sentence with a verb, that verb should take a gerund form or an ing. Y hay muchas otras funciones de los gerunds. Eh, pues si el, ahorita tenemos bastante tiempo y por eso estamos cubriendo temas así bien importantes eh, que son parte del nivel intermedio que es donde ustedes están. Eh, el del material solo nos quedan dos secciones y siempre son resta, con lo del restaurante y todo eso. Así que pues eh, probablemente le dediquemos una clase a los gerunds en sí. ¿Qué es importante acá? Es si a usted le preguntan algo con would you mind, si usted, eh, a usted le piden un favor o le piden algo would you mind, es como decir te importaría. Entonces nunca, nunca, nunca tenemos que contestar con un yes. ¿Okay? Porque entonces la persona entenderá, ok, si se molestó o si le molesta que yo le esté um, eh, pidiendo esto. Entonces, por eso siempre que le hagan un request con would you mind, no se contesta yes. Como nosotros, es como, ¿me, me puedes hacer un favor? Sí, yes, <ríe> tell me. En este caso, no. Cuando sea con would you mind, we don't answer yes. So, si la respuesta es no puedo, o so you start by saying probably sorry, and you give a brief explanation on as to why you are not able to do that uh, favor. Or you can say, sure, definitely, I can do that for you. Okay, so normalmente, sure, no problem, pero no se responde con yes. Okay, are we clear on this? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. It's kind of funny, teacher, because in Spanish, that uh, that question, it could be uh, be mad for some people. For the uh, how 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 can you say? How can you hear it? If someone's uh, here, te importaría? It's like sarcasm. Uh -huh. And it's interesting that in, in English. And the only uh, answer, yes, could be significant that it's the person is mad for that kind of question. Yes, it's, it's a thing of culture, right? And as we said before, not, uh, it's a culture thing. And also it has to do with the, with the fact that we cannot translate 
everything to our language. Not everything is possible to be translated, but yes, we can uh, make like an interpretation of what a person is saying, right? Or to find a similar meaning in Spanish. And what you're saying is, 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 is a good observation and it is true. If someone asks you in Spanish, ¿te importaría? It's like, oh, okay, este me está hablando pesado. <laughs> o es sarcasmo, o es como... Exactly. <laughs> yes, I agree. Su majestad, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entonces, sí. Yeah. Pero, yeah, but in English, yes, it is um, it's kind of common to use, would you mind to request something? And it's a very, very polite wait. So, es muy, 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 um, como decir, cortés, usar would you mind. Mm -hmm. It's very formal. So, it's, it's, it's good to know this. And also to, to make that clear that you never answer yes. Si usted dice, sí, si, si usted quiere decir sí, puedo hacerlo, lo que me estás pidiendo. So, you can say sure. Puede decir sure. And if your answer is like negative, you can say, I'm sorry, this and this and that, right? All right, let's listen the audio so you can uh, listen. How does it sound with native speakers? <laughs> let's see. Page 39, exercise eight, grammar focus. Requests with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the music down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? It sounds beautiful. <laughs> okay, so uh, the exercise that we have here is to match. Match the request in column A with the appropriate responses, which we have in column B. And we have the first one. It says, uh, could you lend me $20? Can you make me a sandwich? Uh, so for you, could you lend me twenty dollars? Is letter D. Teacher, lend is like prestar. Yes, that's correct. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I support the partner. Letter D. Uh huh. Letter D. I'm sorry, and I can't. I don't have any cash. Okay. Can you make me a sandwich? Sure. Do you want anything to drink? Letter B. Okay, excellent. Can you help me with my homework? Letter Maybe. E. Letter E. B. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't. So what is the letter? E. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Ah, uh, letter E, yes. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sounds good. Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Letter C. C. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize this seat was taken. Uh-huh. Uh, five. Would you please turn down the TV? A, letter A. Letter A, sorry, we didn't know we were so loud. Mm -hmm. uh, or listen, so the number six is, would you mind speaking more quietly? Or maybe that is letter A. Mm -hmm. So it's what would be the number five? F? F, sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. And then letter number six would be letter A. Okay. Teacher, so, will you imagine what will happen if in the bus 
so, uh, someone told us, uh, sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It can be taken as something rude. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes, uh, people here is like kind of rude sometimes, and everything is taken as you're being rude. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is there any question here about uh, any word and any word of pronunciation? I see that your speaking has been improved, Belen, so that's good. <laughs> yes, teacher, I will practice all the verbs. <laughs> and nice. And that's important, the participation, because it makes you like sound more fluent. So it's important for you to participate and everybody is more than welcome to do so. Um, teacher, mm -hmm. um, uh, you you said that we have enough time to finish the program. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe we can uh, take a little of time to practice conversation. Sure, uh, I included uh, these topics because you see those verbs are very commonly used. We keep on asking for favors or asking people to do things that's why I'm including these uh, topics. And for today, I have one here. And thank you for asking for that. I'm going to be in, um, having like conversations for you in, uh, in all classes from now on, because I have seen that many of you have improved. Like um, maybe, I don't know if it is because we are practicing tongue twisters. I don't know if it is because we are, uh, having this kind of conversation. I don't know, but uh, something is working fine with you. <laughs> Algo les está haciendo bien, pero sí he, he notado que han mejorado muchos con sus uh, speaking. Veo que están aprendiendo palabras nuevas, eh, preguntan. So that's nice. And yes, I'm going to be including more conversations for you with this material because I see that um, we have not had any problems with this. Este material se utiliza en, en otro programa que igual es en línea, siempre con Insafor, pero no es inglés para el trabajo. Entonces esto no me da problema compartirlo aquí en la pantalla y tampoco si los audios suenan por ahí, no me da problema. Entonces claro que sí lo voy a seguir haciendo. Y de igual manera les digo que cualquier tema que ustedes sientan que quieren que repasemos lo, lo podemos hacer. Porque la sección 3 es básicamente lo mismo del restaurante y actividades diarias. Vea qué haces a diario, ah, tomar órdenes y cosas así. It's like very simple. Eh, puede, creo que podemos aprovechar el tiempo con otros temas que tal vez eh, ustedes quisieran repasar. Por ejemplo, si quieren que de repente hagamos una clase del pasado simple, that's fine. I can definitely do that. Cualquier tema que ustedes quieran que veamos, me lo pueden hacer saber. Así como me dicen, queremos más conversaciones, that's okay. I will be glad to help you with that. Thank you so much. And yes, we have a conversation because we're going to talk about wishes. And esto se los compartí antes y toda la clase. Como les digo, voy a tratar de incluir una conversación diaria. Y por eso es que les mando... <laughs> Las presentaciones de acuerdo a, a cosas, ¿verdad? Uh, this topic seems like uh, very, uh, I see it is very interesting because we always, it's a very common thing to wish something, right? Siempre estamos como, yo desearía tal cosa. Es una cosa casi que de, de, de día a día que decimos, ay, yo quisiera, uh, no sé, que los días fueran más largos. O ya quisiera que ya fuera fin de semana. So we keep on wishing. So como que nos mantenemos expresando deseos de la verdad. Entonces, so that I think that this topic could be um, a good for you. So uh, first we're going to start with some vocabulary about common wishes according to the material. These are some common wishes people have about their life. So let's read together. The first one is improve my personality. 
Do you wish to improve your personality? I do. I wish that every day. <laughs> yes, right? So it's a common wish for us to improve our personality. Decimos, ay, yo quisiera no ser tan enojada. O oh, yo quisiera no ser tan impaciente. O oh, ay, créeme que yo quisiera no ser tan estricta. O oh, whatever. But yes, we keep on wishing to improve our personality. Another common wish, according to the material, enjoy life more. Enjoy life more, yes. Sometimes we keep just like, um, I, I have to do this, I have to work, I have to do, and we complain sometimes and we stop enjoying life. So this is important. We have to learn how to, or make time to enjoy life more. Play a musical instrument. Teacher, how mm -hmm. do you say this uh, phrase in English? I don't know. Uh, I just have to translate it. Or it's like uh, a dicho de la cultura. Uh, and when you say you have to work for a living and not living for work. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay? Yes, it is okay. And sure. Definitely, you have to uh, uh, work for living and not live for work. <laughs> so definitely, we need to apply this to or or keep it in mind and and repeat that every day, right? So we work hard. Yes, we work hard. Take some money to spend it in something you enjoy during the weekend, maybe. Um, dinner or uh, delicious breakfast with your friends in a nice place, you really deserve it. That's what we work for. <laughs> uh, exactly. Let's see, play a musical instrument. What do you think, not in my case? Maybe when I was younger. But Which one, me. which instrument? Uh, battery. The violin. No, battery. I'm oh, sorry, battery. I don't know if it's correct. Ah, the battery. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, find a better job. What do you wish that? <laughs> that's the reason that all we all we hear today. <laughs> yes, most of you are in this class because you want to find a better job. You will do. Believe it. Okay, add more hours to the day. If it's for work, no. <laughs> okay, add more hours to the day. Go back to school. Mm. Oh, I don't think so. Keep <laughs> studying. Mm, it depends, right? It depends, yes. Move to a new home. Some of you probably make some new friends. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And the last one, uh, spend more time with my family. Okay. So moving on, I think this uh, vocabulary is pretty easy. So we're going to move and listen to the conversation which is related to this topic making changes okay this is important that we make change and not just keep on wishing things were different we need to do something in regards of it to make the things happen so i'm going to stop sharing the presentation and i'm going to go to the material so we can listen to this conversation and practice it and let me find the conversation it seems it's in the same page like this all right so we are going to listen to the conversation and practice it at home with the microphones off no need to turn on them then we're going to ask for a new vocabulary or maybe any word that is uh, you find it difficult, but for now, just listen and repeat. I'm going to make a pause here. Voy a ir pausando para darles chance de repetir. So listen, it is very important that you listen first and then repeat. 
No, don't try to repeat at the same time you listen to the recording. I'm going to thank you for if you stop like making drawings in the presentation. Thank you. Okay, so let's listen to the audio. Page 19, exercise 8, conversation. Making changes. Part A, listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Okay, is there any question? That poor guy. Terry, oh. so why are you is living with you, Terry? Where is Terry? Terry is a proper name. It's the name of a person. Any other question? Yes, teacher. I, I have a question. Um, the contraction of they apostrophe the stop and and the paragraph paragraph of Terry. Terry, uh, it, it's okay. My parents are always asking. Me to be home before midnight. I they, would say it. Uh huh. They would. Ah, they would. Mm -hmm. That's the contraction of would. They would. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Question. Uh huh. It stops worrying, worrying, or worrying. 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 Uh -huh. Worrying. Mm -hmm. Worrying. Que se dejen de worrying. preocupar. Dejen preocupar. Uh -huh. Stop worrying about me, acerca de mí, o por mí. Yes. Uh -huh. Any other question? How's it work? How's it work? Housework, housework, trabajo de la casa, puede ser oficio, housework, trabajo de casa. Any other question? En este caso, ¿qué significa bore? Bore. Alojamiento. Ah, ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Teacher, I'm sorry. I don't yes, hear like, what is the uh, meaning of David, the contraction of... Uh, the they would. Mm -hmm. Ah, they would. Okay. They would. Uh -huh. Y la decir free room and word se refiere a... Um, 
alojamiento gratis y comida. Es la expresión en sí. Um, nosotros tal vez podríamos querer interpretar como free food. Pero en este eh, entorno, hablando de cuando uno vive con los padres, es eh, decir, free room and, and board se refiere a, a alojamiento gratis y comida. Any other question? Everything is good. Ajá, porque si nosotros buscáramos, digamos, solamente board, en el traductor nos diría pizarra. Ajá. <ríe> Ajá. Sí, correcto. Sí, por eso es que son como frases compuestas que es como su significado sería el equivalente a nosotros en español decir eh, comida gratis y alojamiento, pero no vemos la palabra food ahí. Correcto, ¿Eh? sí. Uh -huh. O sea, cuando queramos decir que queremos comida gratis y alojamiento, es free room and board. Any other thing? Or we listen again before we go listen to break again. out? Okay, so. It's a good idea. The groups. Yes, um, I'm going to uh, make the breakout rooms. Uh, we're going to practice a pronunciation again in uh, home with the microphones off and um, then i'm going to create the room so that you can role play the conversation page 19 exercise 8 conversation making changes part a listen and practice So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? All right, so I'm going to create the breakout room so that you can practice and remember that the conversation, it is in the PowerPoint that I sent before the class. And uh, antes de unirlo, voy a habilitarles para que compartan before I forget this. All right. There we go. Teacher, I will just disconnect right now because I have some things to do and I will connect it tomorrow. Teacher.
teacher. Teacher? Yes? Ah, hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I, I have to disconnect right now because I have some things to do, but I will connect it uh, tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Belen, for your participation and for being at least for an hour. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye. Okay, bye.
Okay, let's listen to some of you, the volunteers for role play this conversation. Imelda and Judy. Okay, let's go. Imelda and Judy. Okay. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? And the price so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before my night. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to hell around the house. I hate how housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? And board? Board. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much for your participation. Just listen the word is midnight. Medianoche, midnight. Okay, but then excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. And then I have Maricela and Moises. Okay. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm so afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stop wor worrying about me. Yeah, parents, I like that. Hey, they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free rooms and board? Okay, very good. Nice job. Thank you so much for your participation. Now we have Noemi and Rafael. Thank you. I, I start. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? Rafael? I'm sorry, my microphone is mute. Oh, no worries. I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move, move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? All right, excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. It's just it's the auxiliary is pronounced could, could. And then everything is okay. Thank you so much for your participation. So uh, do we have more volunteers or do we continue? Maria no, Angelica. Teacher. Okay, tengo a Maria Angelica and Carlos Las Manitas Levantadas. Let's see. So you can go ahead, Maria Angelica and Carlos. Okay. Okay, so are, are you, you still stop? living? Okay. So are you still live? Sorry, sorry. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I I wish they don't worry about me yeah parents 
or like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else I can get free room and board? Excellent. Awesome. You did a nice job also with intonation. Thanks. So perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, now we have Juan and somebody else to practice with Juan. Juan Ricardo. Yes. Um, volunteer, anybody else? Raise your hand. Excellent. Empiece. Belen is not here. She had to leave the meeting. Okay. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? Juan Ricardo? I'm afraid so. I am afraid. I wish I got my home apartment. My own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay about parents. I left home again one home before. Minion, midnight. midnight, it wish they stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect in me how around that house I had a I hate work. I, I hate I hate uh also housework housework hardware I wish like wearing difficult so why don't you move out Eggy wish a cold but where else I hate free room and board. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation. You're doing very good. And you're improving step by step. This is little by little. Listen to never give up and keep on practicing. Thank you so much for your participation. Now let's move to the next slide where we have uh, the way that we use the wish in order to express the things that we wish that we want probably most of our days we keep on wishing something so um let me stop sharing so that we can go with the audio okay Okay, here is the grammar part. And it is, we use wish plus the past tense to refer to present wishes. Esto nos dice que nosotros tenemos que cuando estemos expresando nuestros deseos eh, del presente, lo que deseamos eh, en el momento, ¿verdad? Lo que deseamos en el hoy, esto se expresa usando wish, que sabemos que desear. Y el verbo tiene que ir en pasado. Ok. Um, so. Uh, if you say. It says I live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. En este caso. Como se está haciendo una negación. Se está utilizando el auxiliar de pasado. Did not. Entonces si vamos a hacerlo en pasado. Eh. Give me one second. Okay, so si vamos a hacer una negación, eh, yo desearía que no, que no fuera tal cosa. En ese caso, si es con cualquier verbo, utilizamos el auxiliar para pasado que es did not. Entonces, en ese caso ya el verbo se queda en su eh, forma simple porque tenemos el auxiliar acá, ¿verdad? El auxiliar ya nos indica pasado. Entonces, en estos casos, cuando estamos haciéndolo en negativo, no necesitamos trasladar el verbo a pasado porque tenemos el auxiliar. 
Y si estamos expresando con verbo be, entonces utilizamos were not o weren't. ¿Ok? Con el, el resto, so, si usamos auxiliares, recuerden que al usar un auxiliar, el verbo no se conjuga. Lo mismo pasa aquí. I can't move out. So, en este caso estamos haciendo la expresión. Eh, es una oración simple, right? Pero hay un auxiliar ahí, entonces el verbo no se está conjugando. Pero si ya yo lo, 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 lo pongo igual. I wish I could sería el auxiliar ya en pasado. Entonces el verbo igual se deja en presente. I wish I could move out. Ok. Eh, ahora, si estamos expresando con cero estar, aquí tenemos for the verb be, where is used with all pronouns after wish. Sabemos que el verbo be en pasado se conjuga de dos maneras. ¿Recuerdan cuál es? Was, was and were. were. Was and were. were. Ajá, exacto. Muy bien. Eh, recordando esta parte, so, yes. Se conjuga en was y were, pero si vamos a utilizar este verbo ser o estar para expresar un deseo, se utiliza were. No se usa was en ningún pronombre. En todo se usa were. Ok, aquí tenemos la nota for the verb be. Where is used with all pronouns after wish. Ok, so tenemos acá el ejemplo life is difficult. Si queremos decir eh, yo quisiera que fuera más fácil. I wish it were easier. Si regularmente diríamos, ah, pero con it se usa uh, was, pero no cuando estamos expresando un deseo con el pasado de el be. Entonces, expresar deseos con el pasado de be siempre va a ser were para all, para todos los pronombres. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. Ok. ¿Hay preguntas hasta acá? Ok. So, Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, I'm sorry, pero no escuché eh, qué significaba. Por, por, por ejemplo, I wish it were easy. Ah, este desearía que fuera más fácil. Desearía que fuera. Como el cero estar es el que estamos utilizando, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso está el where ahí. En, en ese, y si es negativo, where not. I wish it weren't so difficult. Desearía que no fuera tan difícil. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so el wish para paz. Um, si estamos eh, utilizándolo eh, de esta manera. En, en oración como esta, en la que no tenemos auxiliares, entonces el verbo se pone en pasado. I wish I had my own apartment. Ok. Ya, yeah, si usamos auxiliares, eh, entonces el verbo se deja en presente, pues porque el auxiliar, recuerden que siempre después de un auxiliar, el verbo se queda en su forma simple o presente. Pero si no hay auxiliar y vamos a expresar wish, entonces el verbo se va en pasado. ¿okay? Y si vamos a expresar un deseo con el pasado de verb to be, siempre va a ser where para todos los pronombres. ¿Estamos claros con esto? Teacher, ¿y la con, the contraction of want? want? Es el... Sería como la forma negativa de will not. Will not en pasado es won't. Won't. La okay. contracción o forma corta de will not. Won't. Ok, any question? Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to uh, play the recording so you can listen. Listen how is this pronounced. Page 20, exercise 9, grammar focus. Wish. Use wish plus past tense to refer to present wishes. I live with my parents. 
I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had my own apartment. Life is difficult. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. I can't move out. I wish I could move out. My parents won't stop worrying about me. I wish they would stop worrying about me. Okay, to practice the topic, we have uh, this. Let me leave it like this. Um, so we have to read these facts about people's lives, and then we have to rewrite the sentence using wish. More than one answer is possible. So I'm going to allow you some time so that you can rewrite the sentences expressing wish, okay? So we have the first two already done for us as an example. Diane can't wear contact lenses. She wishes she could wear contact lenses. Number two, Beth's class is so boring. She wishes her class weren't so boring. Okay, so following these examples and the grammar charts that we have here, we are going to rewrite the sentences. You can work in your notebooks. Remember that more than one answer is possible. So I'm going to allow you some time and then we are going to check your work.
teacher, I, I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, it's necessary um, auxiliary wish R E S in the the in tercera persona. In third person singular, mm -hmm. yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. so no, no wishes. Uh -huh, because in this case we have Diane and we have Beth, and so it's third person singular. But for example, in the number three, it says my parents. So this is plural. So in this case, it's going to be they um my parents mm -hmm. can afford um a new car. Ajá, está hablando sobre sus papás. So aquí um, dice mis padres no pueden um, costear un carro nuevo. So what would be the I answer? Wish. I wish. Ajá, porque sería en primera persona. Okay. I wish okay. I... Ajá, podría poner I wish I could... Um, I wish I could... Um, buy a car for them. Ok, ahí sí sería en primera persona. Esa es una opción, pero sí pueden haber diferentes respuestas. Uh -huh. okay. uh, for example, I wrote, uh, I wish they, they, I, no, sorry, <laughs> they wish, uh, they wish could uh, have more, more money. They wish they could have more money. Excellent. Uh huh. Yes, that that is a good option. I wish. Um. Uh, they wish. They wish. They could have more money. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And thank you so much. This is a good question and a good catch. Mm -hmm. I
Right, let's see. What do you have in the number um, three? My parents can't afford a new car. They wish they were more sol solvent. Okay, good. Any other one? I wish they could wear a for a new car. I wish they could afford a new car. Okay. Thank you so much. Any other? I, teacher, I wish I, I wish. had buy for my parents' car. Okay, excellent option. Any other? I wish my parents could afford a new car. Excellent. Well done. Now let's see. Dan can't fit into his old jeans. He wishes he could fit in his old pants. Excellent. He wishes he could fit into his old pants. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Any other? He wishes he were thinner. Excellent. Very <laughs> well done. <laughs> Any other? Okay, let's listen to number five. I can't remember my PIN number. He wishes he could remember his PIN number. Okay, good option. And anybody else? I wish I, I, I could. Uh-huh, Andrea? I wish I could remember my PIN number. Excellent, well done. I wish I didn't forget my PIN number. Excellent. That's a good one, too. Very good job. Let's see number six. Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura doesn't have any free time. She wishes she had some free time. Excellent. Excellent job. Good job with grammar. Anybody else? Laura wishes she had many free time. Excellent. Very good. Now let's see the last one. Mitch is too short to play basketball. He wishes he were taller. He wishes he were taller. Excellent. Yeah. Very good job with grammar. Any other option? Mitch wish not to be so short to play basketball. Okay, very good. Nice job. So I see that you did a very good job with this topic. So um, let's see, uh, we have another exercise, but before going there, I'm going to check attendance. So let's just see if we, if we are okay with this. Let's start with check. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you. Belen got disconnected. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Rene. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Francisco Nehemias. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you so much. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you. Maricela del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Moises Alberto. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Moises. Hoy le toca su one-on-one. Si se puede quedar un ratito después de la clase, estaría bueno. 
Noemi Present. Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Rafael Antonio. Present. All right, thank you. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesus. Present teacher. Right, thank you. Judy Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes. Maria Angelica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. And Susana, no se conecta. Okay. So, let's see. Let me share again so that we can continue here. Okay, this one is done. And the next exercise is about reading about your own wishes. So we have to, what do you wish were different about these things? Write down your wishes. So you have to write your wishes about your bedroom. What would you like to be different about your bedroom? So I can say, I wish, um, I wish it were bigger. Okay, for example, um, et cetera. You may wish different things about my school or job, my social life, my skills, my possessions, and my town. Is the vocabulary clear or do you have any new word here? Skills? Skills, habilidades, or destrezas, habilidades, destrezas, they are skills. Uh -huh. Any other? My bedroom. Okay, I'll give you time for you to write your wishes about these six things in your notebook. Uh, the part eight. Yes, part eight. I okay. tienen un ejemplo, por ejemplo, when I wish my bedroom were a different color for example, so in part eight, so write about these things. What would you wish to be different? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. For example, I wish my room wasn't too hot. For example, it wasn't too hot. To be weren't. 
Siempre weren't.
Okay, any volunteer, what would you wish it were different in regards to the bedroom? I wish uh, my bedroom were bigger. Okay, excellent job. A volunteer, what do, would you wish it would be different with your school or job? I wish my job were extend for a longer time. Okay, good, excellent job. Now, my social life, any volunteer? I wish I had more time to my social life. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much, Rafael. My skills. My school at home. I feel I bow. Okay. My possessions. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? I do some with skills. Mm -hmm. I wish my skills were enough to have better results. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Thank you so much for sharing. Do you have something in regards to your positions? Mm. No, I don't do nothing about Okay, you didn't finish that part. No worries, that's okay. You provide an excellent example about your skills. Nice job, thank you so much. Is anybody finished with the positions? I wish I had a big house. Oh, right. Excellent. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and it's yeah. an excellent example. Thank you so much. And finally, we have my town. Does anybody have something to share about wishes in regards of a town? I wish I could move, move out of my town. Excellent job. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. And well, that will be it for today and see you tomorrow for more. Thank you, Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a good sleep. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Sí, yes, Moises. Eh, me da uno o dos minutos. Eh, estoy terminando el trabajo. Sure, no problem. Take your time. Or if you can't, uh, we can leave it for another uh, day. <coughs> Would that be okay for you? Perdón. Lo podemos mover para otro día si gusta también. Ah, de acuerdo. Pues yo solo uno o dos minutos en lo que salgo. Okay, that's Pero, okay. No problem. Okay. I will wait. Lo espero entonces. Okay.
Hello, teacher. Hello, thank you. You finished work today. Yes. Nice. Okay, so tell me, um, ¿cómo se siente? ¿Cómo va con las clases? ¿Qué siente que le está ayudando? ¿Qué quisiera que hubiera más? ¿Qué tipo de ejercicios, por ejemplo? Siente eh, que sí, yo, yo, yo creo que ayuda cuando habla más en inglés por, por el nivel en que estamos ya, ¿verdad? Eh, Igual siento que a ver varios que nos puede faltar un, un detalle porque el ICE no es cuesta más que yo, yo. Yo he venido como ya quizás como tres años tratando de aprender inglés y el ICE es el que me falta. Entonces, en, con respecto al ICE, quisiera mejorar yo. ¿verdad? ¿Y qué tal eh, sienten los ejercicios que les pongo a veces de listening? Sí, no, no, sí ayuda. Pero ahí tiene que ser como de parte de uno también. Mm. ¿Y como qué cosas hace para mejorar su listening? Eh, pues también tratar de escuchar audios, pues yo creo que una vez me metí a una página que se llama de BBC, creo que también usted lo recomendó. Uh -huh. Oiga, yo lo había, lo había entrado yo para que me cayeran notificaciones en el que suben audios a diario. Pero sí tengo que poner tiempo también yo. Uh -huh. Sí, tal vez este momentos en los que tal vez eh, uno se va trasladando para la casa, pues podría ir eh, en lo que está de camino, en lo que está en el tráfico, ir escuchando audios, eh, entrevistas, cuestiones así, programas en inglés. Eh. Yo les recomiendo bastante programas como... Eh, hay muchos que podrían ser algunos tal vez de cocina, si, si le gusta eso o algún programa de lo que le guste. Les digo los de cocina porque como explican procedimientos y eso, entonces este como que tienden a hablar un poquito más, eh, están explicando procedimientos, entonces no hablan tan rápido, pues porque no sirve de nada. Eh, si usted siente que esa es su mayor dificultad, quizás empezar... Eh, por algo sencillo donde pues el speaking sea no tan acelerado porque si no pues igual no va a avanzar y se va a seguir eh, sintiendo como esa dificultad, como esa frustración entonces le recomendaría tal vez escuchar programas en inglés que tal vez en el camino a casa porque yo entiendo la cuestión del tiempo pues hay trabajo, responsabilidades pero sí se pueden hacer los chancecitos, especialmente con listening, pues que usted puede eh, en el camino, como le repito, ¿verdad? Mientras esté en un tráfico, estar escuchando y pues eh, de esa manera aprovechar ese tiempo que usualmente es tiempo muerto para nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Igual quizás la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Para mejorar eso. Ok, sí, y los ejercicios que hemos estado haciendo, ¿siente usted que le ayudan? ¿Cuáles siente que le ayudan más? Sí, eh, la, la conversación, la práctica de repetir de hacer. Ah, ok, good. So, entonces vamos a seguir eh, con esto implementando más eh, conversaciones, ¿verdad? Para ayudarles con la pronunciación. Eh, ¿Algo más que quisiera agregar, Moisés? Eso es lo que me ha tocado mejorar. La y la pronunciación. Ok, listening and pronunciation. Ok, so vamos a tratar de incluir más ejercicios de listening que, eh, como le digo, son escasos, pues, pero pues con gusto yo les busco material que, que les ayude, pues, en su proceso. Okay. Anything else you would like to add before we finish?
Is that all? Algo más que quisiera agregar antes que terminamos? That's all. Okay, so thank you so much for uh, staying and uh, I hope that you sleep well. I know that you're tired, you've been working. So see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night.